Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Traveler and we are in Italy and we are traveling all over. I'm with my wife. It is our 25th wedding anniversary and we are taking in the sights from Venice to Florence to Rome to Capri to Pompeii, all up and down this amazing country, taking in all these amazing sights and that's what this video uh, tour is all about. Today we're in Rome and I wanted to show out a little hidden attraction that a lot of people don't know about. And if you go to the Vatican, it, this is a very close walk from the Vatican. So you go out St. Peter's Square, down the Boulevard of Embassies. These are where all the embassies are for the Vatican. And just keep walking all the way to the end of this main road. It's about a 200-yard walk from the entrance to the church to the river. And this is the River Tiber. If you hit the river and then make an immediate left turn, there it is. The famous fortress of Castel San Angelo. Now, this may look familiar to you. It has featured very prominently in the movie Angels and Demons, where it is the headquarters of the Illuminati. It is also featured in the video game Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, where it's the headquarters for a whole bunch of all kinds of bad stuff. But it's a really amazing attraction that not enough people know about. It was first built in the second century for the Emperor Hadrian, who was the Emperor of Rome at the time, and it is actually where he is buried. Uh, and and so it got its start there. But what made it famous was its location right on the turn of the river. And so popes over the years began to fortify it. And around the 4th century, they actually built a tunnel from the Vatican straight to the fortress. And it became the refuge every time somebody attacked Rome the Pope would hide out in the fortress. So he had a bunch of apartments built there with various luxury appointments so that they could defend themselves. And again, because of its strategic location, it's on a little hill, it's on the river, and the river bends right at the fortress. It enables uh, the defenders of the Pope to really you know, keep the Pope safe. And for years and years, centuries and centuries, that is what it became noted for. In 590 AD, Pope Gregory had a vision that he saw the Archangel Michael standing above the castle. He interpreted that as a sign that the plague that was ravishing Italy would soon come to an end. Many years later, a statue was built to commemorate that vision, and that statue of St. Michael is one of the most prominent in all of the city of Rome. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the, the castle was turned into a notorious prison, and it is there where Puccini set his grand finale of his famous opera, Tosca. The two lovers find tragic death at the feet of the very famous statue of St. Michael. Now, my wife, as a former opera singer, of course, wanted to stand in that very spot and strike a pose as well. But this is a really great attraction, especially if you're visiting the Vatican. There's also a wonderful cafe on the third floor, a nice museum. Definitely worth the price of admission because it is such a short walk to the, this castle from the Vatican. So that's the Castle San Angelo of Rome. Next up on Adventures in Italy, we're going to go over to Florence and visit the Pitti Palace. This palace, the Pitti Palace, is the home, former home of the Medici family. And as the richest family in all of Italy during the Middle Ages, you can see that they had a lot of tremendous things there. So that's next up on Adventures in Rome. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my videos, especially more of the garden videos, which is what I do most of the time. So this is Doug, the two-minute traveler, saying thanks so much for watching.